Hello and welcome. My name is Darren Silsby, application engineer at Solid Tech. I'm just going to take you through how to make a cone shape within the sheet metal tools using the loft command. So I've currently got my top plane shown here. I'm just going to create an additional plane and offset that to a distance of 250mm. I'm going to go ahead and create my initial sketch on my base plane. I'm going to sketch on there, place a circle. We're going to dimension it. Now we need to create a little groove going through our circle here to enable us to convert this to a sheet metal part. So insert my line and offset this line both directions 0.5mm so I get a so I get a 1mm gap in between. I'm just going to select these lines here and turn them into construction geometry and then I'm going to trim the circle using those two offset lines and I'm okay with that so I'm going to exit my sketch now I've got my base circle for my cone now if I select my top plane, go ahead and sketch on that one, I'm just going to snap normal to it so we have a clearer view of what's going on here. If I select my center point, this time I'm going to give this upper circle a diameter of 250. And again, same technique as before, I'm going to create a line which penetrates the circle from the center point. I'm going to offset it in both directions again 0.5 of a mil so it gives me a, a one mil gap then each of these lines I'm going to turn them into construction lines and again just trim the circle there which gives me two circles and then good to go ahead and create my sheet metal cone so within sheet metal I'm going to use the lofted bend tool I'm going to select my lower path, sorry, my lower profile, select my upper profile, I can then zoom in to just double check which direction my thickness is going in, and I can modify that, but I'm happy with the 3mm thickness. Click OK, and there we go, got my sheet metal cone. Now, if I want to produce a flat pattern from this, I simply select the flatten tool within the sheet metal commands. Again, click the face, my view normal to it, sorry about that, there we go, view normal to it, okay, now that I've got that in place, this can then be exported for CNC purposes, etc, so if I export this, I can just export the lines out into DXF or a DWG format for it to go ahead and be cut, so I'm just going to put this on my desktop, and I'll call it cone, I'm going to go for a DWG, I save that, and we're good to go. So that's how you create a sheet metal cone and flat pattern it. There's no lines to clean up in there, so I'm happy with that. So just click save, and we're good to go. Okay, thank you for listening.